I join you today at the doorstep of perhaps the greatest and most important moment in WWE history. One score and a couple of years ago, a blue-blooded hero came to deliver us from the chains of corny and the bonds of boredom. This momentous occasion represented a beacon of hope for millions of fans, a moment in time that marked a new generation, sparking an era of attitude, ending Monday Night Wars before such ruthless aggression led to parental guidance becoming the WWE's new reality era. But 20 plus years later, the WWE fan is still not free. 20 plus years later, the WWE fan once again suffers from entertainment deficiency. 20 plus years later, we are now paralyzed by the patheticness of the product. 20 plus years later, a senile old man languishes still in the fantasy of his out of touch reality. But we refuse to accept sports entertainment as bankrupt. We refuse to accept this product's insufficient funds of fun. While WWE once pledged to be the cure for the common show, it is evident now more than ever the WWE has defaulted on this promissory note. We have come to the World Wide Web to cash a check, one we wrote each month to be entertained for just $9.99. A check that once cashed will fund our fun for years to come and forever protect us from the boring, the stupid, and the dumb. It would be fatal for the WWE Universe to dismiss the urgency and importance of this moment. This freezing winner of the WWE's product will not fall until the awakening of marks to this reality, the smart, the dumb, and all. But I say this to my people, at the precipice of this pivotal moment in wrestling history, let us not be consumed by our selfishness and cynicism or be brought down by the burden of our negativity. Instead, let us come together as one common people, united behind the power of the positivity of the defined. For this is our destiny, the path set forth by the Creator. We cannot stand alone. As we stand up, we must stand together and move forward. We cannot turn back. Those asking when you wrestling fans will be satisfied. Well, we can never be satisfied as long as these crimes against our entertainment continue. We will never be satisfied as long as our fun is foiled at every turn. We shall not be satisfied as long as this assault on our enjoyment of wrestling remains. Instead, we can only be satisfied once we challenge ourselves to accept more and then pass that burden of expectations to Titan Towers. Only with this can we begin to experience real glory, the end of an empire via the resurrection of a higher power. I say to you today, let us not be captive to a pathetic pity party, for I have a dream. Oh, I have a dream! that one day the game will be changed forever. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day an evolution will once again come to WWE. Oh, I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day the King of Kings will retake his place on the throne. For this is my hope, and this is the faith I, your prophet, come to you with. With this faith, we can all rise above the mediocrity of main event or hell and come to experience the kingdom of main event heaven. And this will be the day all of God's children sing with new meaning. It's time to play the game. Time to play the game. <laughs> and if WWE is to be great again, this must be true. It's all about the game and how you play it. All about controlling if you can take it. But not only that. When we approach the battleground with the feelings of mania still in our souls, 
We can put our money in the bank, investing our future in the SummerSlam to come. We can fear not our journey down the fast lane on a highway full of extreme rules. All of us, all of us in the WWE Universe come this Sunday at the 2016 Royal Rumble can join hands to sing the words of the old spiritual. Free at last! Free at last! Thank God Almighty! We are free at last. Let our prayers be answered Sunday when our Heavenly Father, Triple H, wins the 2016 Royal Rumble. Yes, that is our dream. We pray to you on the Hunter, the Hurst, and the Helmsley. Amen. Praise God!